Hey everybody, it's Katie. Um, you might know me better as one eighth of Rouzo Faisal Search and one half of the duo for at Five Sauce Red Hershey. The two Rouzo rock off with your sock, rock out with your socks off, rock out with your socks out. Um, tour in Hershey. Sorry, I repeated. I'm out of it. Um, it is 10:04 at night. I'm making this video to promote stocking tips. Things that you're going to want are, first of all, your phone, your battery packs, and your iPod or whatever you want. Um, I'm getting a new phone, but so mine, my own old junky one. It's not really old. It's probably only about three months old. Hate it, though. I, I really can't stand it at moments. Um, doesn't do my multitasking. I got a Galaxy S5. So I'm excited. I can't wait to get that. I get that really soon. February 6th. And it is um, the 24th of January now. So I am really excited for that. So things you're going to want to remember to do. This is going to be a stalking video. Um, first of all, and another hint, hint I'm going to want to give you for stalking don't rely solely on your phone for things. Um, yeah, it's the nicest essential you can ever have. But if you're sitting farther away, I'm sitting a bit. You're not going to get really, really, really close-up recordings if you're using a phone. Highly in doubting it. Unless you got the Nokia one that has that really big zoom. And even that is not going to get that far if you're really far back. You're going to want to buy a camera with a zoom, and I'm going to teach you. You're going to want something lightweight, and um, it goes really far into the camera. Um, and it goes really far in with zoom. And I'm just, like, trying to test this camera out. And I'm just like testing it out right now, so I got a little bit carried away. Um, but yeah, um, and that looks really gross. Looks like I have a big like hole. I like zoomed in in my eye. I'm sorry. Um, but one thing you're gonna want is the camera. You're going to want one with a zoom and you're going to want to tinker and play around with it until you learn how to use that camera and you know it inside and out before the concert. So I, I advise you to get one in advance. Um, the next thing for your day of the camp, for your day on the, on the town, if you're going to be going out and stalking or doing anything, any of the meetups that we're doing the day of the concert, you're going to want a battery pack because you're going to be out of quite a few hours. I know that the, the meetups are at 3.30 and I think 4 or 4.30. So if we're going to be out from then, and I advise you to go to both because you're going to meet so many of us. Um, and we're going to meet so many people who love the same thing we do. Um, which is, of course, the 5 Seconds of Summer Boys. I am targeting this though for everybody, not just five seconds of summer. I'm targeting this more so for five seconds of summer in one direction, but anybody could take these hints and use it for themselves. I'm going to the five seconds of summer Rouzo tour Hershey, and I'm going to hopefully be going to the uh, Ultra tour 2015 at Lincoln Financial Field in Philly. Um, and I'm going to the Star Pavilion one in and Hershey Star Pavilion um and the five seconds of summer meetups I do know where they're at they're outside chocolate world world we all know where that's at where we go and go take the ride and you get a little piece of chocolate and they have the shops and everything else there you're gonna want a battery pack you're gonna want your cords for your phones your iPhones your iPods your smartphones Whatever you have, um, if you have a portable Wi-Fi box, maybe bring that. But you're going to want your battery packs for them, and you're going to want your chargers for them. 
um, your chargers, the wall ones as well. Because you might sit down for a break to get something to eat. And you might want to find somewhere maybe where you can plug in and get a little battery power. Um, but I advise it. Um, you have no idea. It, it can get crazy. I mean, I and I advise getting... I advise when you go shopping for a purse, you don't need a bag that's like that big. Um, my example bag is my bag I just got for Christmas. You don't need something this big to carry all your stuff. You could maybe find something around this size. And I advise finding something with compartments where you can put these different these different things, your battery packs, and this is my broken one. Um, the port here broke, but I advise getting something for your battery packs, for your camera, and all the things you need for it, your memory cards, your, um, your memory cards, your battery, extra batteries, um, your actual camera, um, your cleaning, your stands, for your phone, your keys, your money, your iPod, your chargers, your wall chargers. You're going to want one with compartments that you can put these different things in. Your chapstick, um, wherever I have one of mine, the, of those that. And the little things that you're going to want at the concert. Um, I'm going to advise you to, to save up money. Have money on you. I mean, as much as your parents are gonna, you're gonna want to be have them with you at all times. You might not have your parents with you at every second of the way. Um, I mean, and you're going to want to have the money on you. At least save some of your money for water, for food, for snacks. And I'm going to give you this tip. Um. For the day, I would av avoid really heavy foods, um, greasy food like fries, like burgers. I know for five seconds of summer, I know this area. I know there's a Wendy's. Um, I know there's that. And I would recommend staying away. And I would recommend staying away from soda, too. Um, I know we all love our sodas. I know this with a passion. But... There are such thing as water flavorings that we can bring to, and they're a much healthier substitute to soda because they're not as filled with caffeine, and they won't bring us down. Because things like that will fuel us up, and then we'll crash. And I avoid. I will. I will sh severely. Try to tell you to stay away from energy drinks, your monsters, even if you're getting up at a wicked crazy hour like I'm going to be. I'm getting up at like 5 in the morning and me and my friend are going to go stalking mega early at like 7 a.m. We're going to be there around the town all day around that area. And we're hoping we can see the boys, me and my friend Jen. And I'm texting her now. I told her that I want to um, like stress plenty of fluids. And um, that we want to stay and we want to have money. Um, and I want to also state um, you're going to want to stay away from greasy like like really heavy foods and heavy meals maybe eat things like those honey and oats bars by nature valley and salads maybe you might not like them or a chicken wrap that's got some veggies it's something that'll sit like not eating like a big quarter pounder half pounder burger that's gonna like sit in you like a rock um because you're gonna be on the move go all day you're gonna be moving all day and you don't want to eat any big meals either. Again, um, a Junior Frosty at Wendy's and there's an, a wrap or a salad. That's enough. I mean, if you want to eat like a little fry, eat like a little kitty fry. Don't go buy the largest size fry and sit there and eat the entire thing. 
I mean, if you're going to buy it for you and four other friends and you're going to, or three or four other friends and going to sit there and eat it, that's not a big deal if you're going to buy a large one then. Then you split it. And then it costs less money probably too if you're going to split it. So, again, that's what I'm going to recommend. Staying away from a lot of caffeine. Maybe you can have one in the morning. Maybe one in the morning. Maybe one or one throughout the day. But I would recommend not just so you're not really tired. I mean, don't stray too far away from your system if you have one or two in your system and you can go a whole day because it's going to be a long day. You don't want to have like a ton of caffeine and then your body becomes deprived and dependent on the caffeine. Um, eat healthy things like oranges, um, apples, grapes. I mean, go for those types of things too. You don't think about it, but fruits are really healthy for you. So you're going to want to eat those types of things and have them with you. Um, now we're going to get into the stalking. I got this idea because of um, watching the One Direction Christmas special. I've been watching it, and the more I see it, the more I get disgusted with how the fans can act. I mean, the, they, they do the South America, and you see how Liam says they have to hold the glass at the other side from the inside of the car and the vehicle because the girls keep slamming themselves and how crazy fans can get. Like, did you see the, the Rio de Janeiro one in Brazil where they have to sneak out in a bread van and they still get trampled and everything else when they go to that like famous statue guy who goes like that? I did. I, that really disgusted me, too, with how they get attacked. I don't want to be that person who attacks them. Probably going to be the one who ends up getting trampled by them because of this. Because I won't attack them. I'll just stand there like a puppy. Um, but it's not funny for them when they get trampled and when they get attacked and everything else. It's not fun for them and it won't make it fun for us if we can't see them. So don't scream like a maniac. Don't go crazy and running like a maniac. Walk briskly. Walk at a good pace. Don't run. Don't trample. Don't scream on bloody murder. I mean, if you're like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, and, like, you start crying, maybe even hyperventilating, <gasps> and, and like, maybe fall to the ground. I don't know. We Some of us end up, like, going, like, when you saw that one girl in the One Direction one, or when Niall dropped the chocolates and then, um, and then he looks up and she goes, oh, my God. And, like, she, like, drops into, like, a crafting position. I mean, we might do that. And we might hug them and cry. And, like, oh, my gosh. I mean, but don't freak out and cause mayhem. Stay calm. Stay quiet. Wait your turn. There might be a couple other people. But be patient. And, like, Maybe be nice. Maybe if you know, if you only see a girl who's going to do one thing, maybe let them go first. If you're a smaller group, if you're a bigger group and you see one person, maybe be like, if you want to talk with your friends with them for a minute, maybe let that one person go first. And then you talk back with your friends. I mean, you're going to be there all day and you have the time. I mean, they might not have the world, but say hi, tell them you love them, give them something, give them a photo, take a photo with them. I'm going to bring a little something to give them if we run into them. I'm hoping that me and my friend can run into them. Hoping maybe I can get a couple video messages for a couple friends of mine that I know might not be able to make it. Um, I'm hoping I can do that or get anything for them. I might bring a picture and get it signed. Um, I know what I'm bringing for me. I'm bringing my calendar. I know. And bring a token item to get signed. Um... Like, something simple, like buy a copy of the CD, make a post, buy a poster or rip a poster out of the, one of the magazines that you buy. If you buy any magazines, invest in a $3 magazine and rip the five seconds of summer poster out of it. I'm going to bring a couple of those for my friends, for them, because I was thinking of that because of them. For them, I would bring that for them and carry it. Bring something small but tokened. Um, I'm bringing my calendar. My friend bought me a five seconds of summer calendar. I don't have it out. I'm still writing dates in it, and then I'm going to hang it up. I've been procrastinating a little bit. Um, but bring something small, something, nothing more than, like, that big, the size of the poster 
or a calendar or something to carry around and make it light. Like a calendar is really light. It's not, it's bulky a little bit, but it's light. Uh, I think the poster is a better idea, but I really want my calendar signed. I don't know. I think I do. I'm most likely bringing my poster. If not, I am going to bring my ca my a poster myself. I'm bringing my calendar most likely. I'm probably going to carry a bag like this with my purse inside of it. That's going to be me. And it won't be that bulky. If I just carry that, oh, but also you're going to want a bigger bag. Something like a tote that you can fold up. Because think of this, when you bring your merch, when you buy, when you go there, if you buy any merch, you're going to want something to put it in. Something like a fold away, um, a drawstring backpack that you can throw in your back pocket, well, in your pocket, for when you go through the check-in to the stadium. Because I remembered this from Take Me Home at the, at the Star Pavilion. They check every little thing that you brought. So I brought a bag no bigger than um, this bag. I think mine was even smaller. And all my friend brought was a wallet type thing. And so what happened is, is we actually were stupid and bought our merch beforehand. Before we walk through and check in. So I carried my stuff in through the thing. And we got it checked in. And we actually ran into an issue with our sign back then with One Direction. Um, and it was what happened is, is the person said that there was no blink like lights for the... Um, posters and I made a poster that had lights and mine was a cut out heart and it was hot pink and I painted it red painted the number the letters that it had on it in red it was a pink poster red outline paint and I painted the number one and then a D for one for one D and I had lights going through the one in the D and they said that we couldn't have it and I I tried to reason with them and I went to the man and I said I understand that and I said and you have to be polite. If they tell you you can't have something, and I'm going to state this clearly, do not argue with them. Be polite and try to reason. Don't get like, well, I thought it never said in the rule book online that it didn't say that. And say, I mean, because if you act like that, you're not going to get your way. What I did is I said, and I got I got really upset about it. I was like, oh, my gosh. I didn't know that. I said, I read the site. I read online. I read different websites. I asked different people to look with me. And I even called up and everything else, and they said it would be fine. Um, and I said, I bought them. And I said, these are really expensive lights. I really don't want my money to go to waste for the lights. I said, I understand that I can't have it. I will take them out. And I said, and I will make sure, and I will tell you this. These are my only, and I took out, and what I did is I took out my batteries, and I said, these are my only batteries I have, and I will give you them so that you know that I can't use them tonight. And I was lying. I had another set of batteries in my pocket, and if I saw other people, I was going to put my batteries in. But I just tried to reason with the man and say, can I please not have you take my lights? I will give you my battery. I will give you my batteries. And I will give you my work that I won't put them in. Well, unless I saw somebody else with the lights. And I got a nice younger security guard. I don't know if it was because he was younger. But he seemed like he was only in his late 20s. Um, and wh whoever he is, if he actually watches this, I'm going to tell him thank I'm like going to say thank you to him. And I said thank you to him anyway. And I'm really appreciative of what he did for me and my friend. Because this was my friend Sammy who went with me. Um, my friend Sammy from my high school. Um, well, from my private school. Um, and what he did is, is he and he said, sure. And, he gave, and I gave him the things. And he looked at me and he said, it's not a problem. Have a good concert. And, it's, and, he, and he like looked at me and he like winked at me. And, and like, I didn't get it. And he shook my hand. And he had the batteries in his hand. He shook my hand. And put the batteries in and fold in my hand. And he said, thank you very much, ma'am, for cooperating. Miss, for cooperating with me. And, like, have a good concert. I hope you enjoy the show. And, like, and he was like, thank you for being polite. And he gave me them. And he had another boss with him right there. And it was security and everything. And they gave more security guards and the ushers and things there. But he gave me them back, people. He gave me my la like when me and my friend walked away too and she's like what's going on so like I like looked at her and then like I'm like and I'm like to my friend I'm like and like we walk away my friend goes what's going on and I go like this I'm like and in here sat my batteries and me and her just looked at each other and I went holy shit 
And she looked at me and she said, you knew what you were doing. I said, yeah. I said, I'm glad you stayed quiet because I knew what I was doing. I wanted to keep my lights. I said, I had another battery set and you even knew this. And she said, yeah, because I had it in my little, inside my purse. I had a little hidden part like this that has a zipper. They didn't check this part. And that's where I had the batteries. Or I had them in my pocket. I'm not sure which one. Anyway, it does not matter which one I had it in. But I had them in there. I had another set. But since I didn't argue, I said, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. I didn't know this. I tried even reading online and it never said anything about light up signs. And I said, I bought these signs. These lights are weatherproof. They were really expensive. I would just really like to be able to keep them. I was going to give them. I'm like, as I said, the man, since I didn't argue, since I just tried to reason with him just to keep my lights since they were so expensive that I had bought, he let me keep them and he gave me my batteries back. And I saw other people with batteries and lights, light, ba light up signs with battery lights, battery powered lights, and I put my batteries back in and I put my sign up with the lights on. My friend said that was like the smartest thing I did, not arguing with the man and just reasoning with him. I mean, because when I did that, you got your way and you got it and you got it and it didn't cause a fuss. If you get all upset about it, it can ruin your day. And I'm going to state that. Don't let it ruin your day because it's not worth it to get all upset and let it ruin your day over something that we've been waiting so long for and we've been having such a good hype about it. Um... And for the Five Seconds of Summer and Razo Hershey tour, and I'm going to be doing this for the One Direction tour, um, and I'm going to call them up. I'm going to get a list of questions together for each venue, and I'm going to call them up while on the, on the computer here, and I'm going to give them these lists of questions for you guys, and I'm going to ask them the common questions of the stadium for each of us and I'm going to go through with my co-owners and try to think of questions that we should ask each stadium so that we can get the best experience possible out of this um, for the Hershey and for the um, Otra and um, Philly. I'm going to call and ask them. Those are the two that I'm going to go to and that's what I'm going to do for them. And I might, I might do Otra and the other one on the other side of the state for my friend because my friend Jen is going and I really want to help her out too. But I'm going to call up those venues and ask them the questions that I'm going to be, or I might have her do that one. I don't know. Um, I don't know that one, but I know I'm going to do it for Hershey and for Philly because I know I want to go to Philly and I know I want to go to her and I know I'm going to Hershey for five seconds of summer. Um, so I'm going to be coming up with a list of questions calling them up while on said camera here and asking them my qu these questions that I know everybody else is going to want to know. But other than that, hope everybody hangs out in there and we have a good day at the concert and I'll see you guys all soon with more videos. Bye!